Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to show you my favorite or best repertoire books and music books for levels grade one to grade three. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so and make sure to check the notifications bell to never miss a new video. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to give us a like. I published a video a week ago about repertoire and music books for grades, intermediate level grades uh, four, five and six. And a few of you asked me if I could do one for grades one to three. So in this video, I'm going to give you some suggestions of what books you could use if you are between grade one and grade three. Now, as I said in my intermediate video, the intermediate stage is when the doors start opening and you'll be able to play a lot more original music and in grades one to three it's it's a lot more limited of what you can do and uh, many of the of the pieces that you find in exam books as well are simplified versions of original pieces or adaptations and some of the songs that you might want to play that are pop songs are not going to be so recognizable because you can't play all the rhythms yet or very big chords but anyway there's still quite a lot to to use and learn from even at these levels so i want to give you a, a wide variety of classical exam materials and also some pop Christmas songs that uh, or collections that you can choose from. Now some of these books are going to overlap with the intermediate because many of the books that I suggested in the previous video go from grade one all the way to grade five or grade six and some of these books can be used in the beginner stage as well. So I want to start with the most obvious and that's the exam books. So as you can see, this is grade one, grade two and grade three by ABRSM. And if you do exams by Trinity or RCM or whatever you have in Canada, Australia, uh, all of them are the same. So basically these books are obviously a must if you're doing piano exams, but even if you don't do piano exams, they are really useful books because how they usually work is they contain at least the ABRSM ones, they contain around nine pieces for each level. And these pieces are from a wide range of genres. So you get some Baroque pieces in the beginning, then you get some classical pieces, some romantic pieces, and sometimes you get some jazz or modern pop songs as well. Not Maybe not pop songs in ABRSM, but some traditional spiritual or jazz pieces. So it it gives you a wide range to choose from and it, as a pianist you should be able to play across different genres. So again, if you are not doing exams, you should still have a look at these books because uh, it's a good collection to have and you know exactly what grade the pieces are inside these books. Also, if you go to some charity shops, as I mentioned in my other video, you can sometimes find many of these books for 10, 20 pence, uh, the ones from the previous years, because these are usually valid for two years, but the difficulty obviously stays the same. Now I'm going to list a few classical collections that are really good for early beginners and and people starting off on the piano journey. One of those is Kabalevsky's Opus 39, which looks like that. And this book is basically the one before the other one that I showed in the intermediate, which is I think Opus 27, that's the harder one. And Opus 39 is the easy one. And this one goes from grade one to grade three. These are very nice teaching pieces with good characters. They are kind of studies because they focus on technical difficulties, but they all have a very nice tune and they are fun to play, not too long. So you can do one a week or one every two, three days totally up to you. You don't have to do the entire book, but uh, do quite a few of them to be able to explore a wider range of technical challenges and musical challenges. So Kabalevsky Opus 39. Moving on, as I said in the intermediate video, it's very difficult to play Bach at a very young age or very, very early stage because most of his pieces are so difficult that Bach is so essential for keyboard and piano players because his music really makes your brain work and makes your fingers work and just is very complex music and is also very beautiful music. Now, the one that I would suggest for grades one to grade three, the easiest book that I found in my collection is the Anna Magdalena Bach collection, which is pieces not just by Bach, but some other Baroque composers, but he was the one who collected it into a collection for Anna Magdalena. And this one has lots of uh, short little pieces. It even has uh, a few longer pieces in the end of the book, like the prelude in C. 
So it's a very good collection, lots of manageable pieces from grade one to grade three. It introduces you to counterpoint and lots of ornamentation from the Baroque period. And um, this specific collection can be found from by many different um, publishers. There's the ABRSM, there's the Alfred, Shermer, and whichever you get is going to be the same, but there's going to be different notes in the books. And it's also available in the public domain, just like the Kabalevsky, so you can download it free and use it as a PDF. Moving on, my all-time favorite, Bergmüller's 25 Easy and Progressive Etudes, Opus 100. Now this book goes from grade one all the way to grade five, and it's kind of at the bottom of grade six. So I mentioned this book in the intermediate, and there is another Burgmüller which goes from grade five to grade eight. Now, if you get this book, you will be able to use it even after grade three. And it has so many amazing little studies and all of them focus on different uh, technical challenges, but they are very, very enjoyable technical pieces or studies, unlike Cherny or other ones, which might seem a little bit boring. These ones are not boring at all. And everybody who's been doing them from my students uh, always loved them. So one of my absolute favorite choices is Burgmüller Opus 100. Another similar collection is Schumann's Album for the Young, which is Opus 68. Again, I showed this book in the intermediate. This one goes from grade one all the way to grade four, five. And again, the first half of the book is quite easy, grade one, grade two, but the second half gets quite hard. So you need to stick with the book for a few years before you can play all the pieces in the end as well, depending on how fast you progress. But both of these books are a good investment if you, if you plan to play piano for a longer time because you can use them for five grades, not just one grade or grade one or grade two. Now, if we want to stick to the studies, here is my other favorite, Cherny. Now, Cherny books are not a favorite to everybody because they don't sound as nice as Burgmüller, but I still find them very musical and they are far more enjoyable than just playing finger exercises. Now, he has hundreds of piano books, but the two most popular ones are Opus 599, which is practical method for beginners on the piano forte, and Opus 823, The Young Pianist. Now, if you look at these two books, they're almost completely identical. It's different pieces, but the pieces have the same technical challenges in them, and it's even progressing at the same pace, and it goes from roughly grade one to grade four. So it's perfect for beginners uh, at grade one, two, three, lots of technical exercises, and all of them are quite short, so you don't have to spend weeks and weeks on learning them. Again, this book contains 100 progressive exercises, this one too. You don't have to do all of these pieces. Maybe you can skip the ones that look very similar, but if you do, at least half of the book is gonna give you a strong foundation in piano technique. Another similar collection is Bela Bartok's For Children. Now from this one, I would suggest the first volume for, for grades one, two, three, which is based on Hungarian folk tunes. Now, these ones are quite easy in the first half of the book, but again, the second half gets a little bit more difficult. And these songs are so interesting. They are completely different to Burgmüller or Czerny because obviously it's, it's a lot later on in, in history, in music history, and music has changed a lot. And Bela Bartók had um, a very interesting style where the songs are very quirky and they are very different to all the other standard um, piano studies. So if you like something that has a very unique sound and is, and is kind of interesting and, and less predictable, and then that's, a, that's an amazing book to learn from. And um, the book pays a huge amount of attention to articulation, to tenuto marks, staccatos, legatos, and coordination between the two hands. So these were my standards, which are collections by one specific composer. And now let me show you a few other books, which are kind of um, mixtures of, uh, or collections of different composers and different styles. Now, one book here is by ABRSM called Piano Mix, and this one is for grade one, grade two, and there's one for grade two, grade three, and another one for grade three and four, I think. So Piano Mix has been created in conjunction with the ABRSM exams, but even if you don't do ABRSM exams, it's a really cool book because it has a wide range of 
piano pieces from different genres. You'll find uh, Brahms in it, Handel, Baroque pieces. You'll find uh, very interesting uh, jazz pieces in it, very upbeat kind of spiritual songs. So it's kind of a little bit of everything. And all of these pieces are very well written for solo piano and they are manageable and you know that all of them are going to be exactly grade one and grade two. So it's a very good collection if you want grade one pieces, but you don't want to stick to just Bartok or just Cherny. Now, one more book here, if you want to do some technical work, but you don't want to do it from pieces like Borgmüller or um, Cherny, then this is my other favorite book for technique, which is called A Dozen A Day. And for grade one, two, three, I would suggest book two, book three, or possibly book four. And that could be a little bit um, difficult for that stage. Now, if you have never used A Dozen A Day, it's basically a technique book which contains um, finger exercises and finger exercises which are really short one line each and they are very easy to master but they all focus on different technical challenges and you always see a little picture which is trying to show you what the exercise is trying to teach you in a visual way. I would suggest book two, the elementary, book three or book four. And here are some more recent books into my collection. Now if you are learning from a method book like Piano Adventures or Alfred's Premier Course, then they have a lot of supplementary books. And I personally use Piano Adventures and I absolutely adore the supplementary books. And even if you don't study from Piano Adventures, you should have a look at their supplementary books, the song books, because there are so many cool songs. And um, they, they come in very many different genres like pop, Christmas, hymns, uh, Chinese songs, classics. Uh, nursery rhymes and whatever but the two or three most popular ones I use are the Christmas ones, the pop one and the Disney one which is a new category. So that's how the pop one looks, the Christmas one and the Disney ones. Now all of these come at different levels which correspond to the Piano Adventures lesson books. Now for grades one I would suggest level two or three for grade two, I would suggest level three or possibly four if you're a good grade two student. And for grade three, I would suggest level four or level five. Some of the collections have a level five. So you can use these supplementary books. And I think big time is level four. Fun time is level three. And there is advanced time, which is level five and there is also playtime which is level two and these collections you have to look at the the table of contents to make sure it has songs that you really like but the disney ones have all the disney classics the pop ones have lots of current uh, chart songs and some evergreen uh, songs and it also comes with the adult piano adventures which has a pop and christmas book and with that one, you could use number two for grades one and two and three. Book one is going to be way too simple. And finally, these are my newest books that I showed in my intermediate video. And these ones, let me show you, it's two collections here. Yeah, this is the first one, which is called The Graded Piano Player. And this one comes in grade one, two and grade two and three. Now this book is very similar to the piano mix, but it has mostly pop and Disney songs. So you've got Lord is My Shepherd, Streets of London, um, Loch Lomond, A Whole New World, Hedwig's Theme. And these are all uh, pop and Disney tunes arranged for solo piano for grades two and three. The only problem with these books is that they don't have any words or lyrics under the piano part so you, you can't see the words if you want to sing along. So that one has two different grades and again the good thing about these selections as I mentioned when it comes to pop music it's very difficult to find graded pop material because the pop piano exams are a new thing and there's not too many books which focus on how difficult pop piano songs are. So these are really great for that reason because you know exactly how difficult the music is going to be inside. And this one is very similar to that, which is the grade two, three and one piano solos. 
and this one is more like piano mix in the sense that it covers a wide range of pieces so they have pop they also have disney but they also have mozart handel and bach so if you want to play a lot of different genres and you only want to buy one book i would suggest this one now again just like in my intermediate video i made this video very long and i showed you a lot of lot of books and of course you don't need to buy so many books but what i would suggest if you are at grade one two three is to pick at least one of those technical books like um bergmuller uh, bartok schumann or bach and pick one of those the one that you're most drawn to and you can use those books for five grades so it's only one time you can have to buy it for like four or five pounds and you can use it from grade one all the way to grade five now if you don't like pop music then pick maybe a second one from those or you can have a look at one of the abrsm exam books if you do like pop music, then I would strongly urge you to have a look at either the Piano Adventures books or one of these books or one of these books if you want to get some pop or Disney repertoire at that level as well. Okay, but I think the the Schumann, Czerny, Burgmüller, Bach are really crucial. You can't learn just from pop books to become a very good pianist. You need something that introduces more challenging technical difficulties because most of these pop songs are not going to have so much about articulation or so much about coordination like counterpoint in Bach, for example. So this is the end of my very long video. I hope you found this helpful. And if you have any questions about these books, leave them in the comments. If you want to watch my intermediate grades four to six video, it's already on YouTube. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, subscribe for more.